this rock contains remarkable fossils that offer a glimpse into Earth's ancient history, dating back approximately 350 to 450 million years during the Paleozoic era. The cylindrical patterns you see are likely the remains of crinoids, marine animals that thrived in shallow seas. Crinoids, also known as sea lilies, were echinoderms related to modern sea stars. These creatures anchored themselves to the seafloor using stalks, and the segmented disks visible in the rock are remnants of these stalks. Over millions of years, these marine organisms died, and their skeletal remains, composed of calcium carbonate, settled onto the seabed. Layers of sediment buried the remains, and as more sediment accumulated, the pressure compacted these layers. Mineral-rich groundwater flowed through the sediments, gradually turning the organic material into stone through a process called fossilization. During this time, much of what is now North America was submerged under a shallow, warm, tropical sea. These seas covered vast portions of the continent, including areas that today form the Midwest, parts of the Appalachians, and the Great Plains. This submerged environment provided the perfect conditions for marine life to flourish, leaving behind the rich fossil deposits we find today. The region where this rock was found was likely part of this shallow sea, hosting diverse ecosystems of crinoids, corals, brachiopods, and other marine creatures. We know this because similar fossils are commonly found in sedimentary rocks across regions like Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, and Illinois, areas that were once at the bottom of this ancient sea. Over time, as the seas retreated and the continents shifted, these marine sediments were exposed, bringing their fossilized secrets to the surface. These fossils remind us of a time when much of North America was underwater, of shallow seas teeming with strange and beautiful creatures that left their mark in stone, preserved for us to study and admire.